Hi, today we're going to have a small master class on positivity in the law of attraction and manifestation so that you can kick things up a notch, so that you can manifest larger, faster, and more consistently because with better information comes better understanding and when that's applied, you get better results. <laughs> Welcome to the Active Path Law of Attraction channel where you will learn advanced law of attraction techniques and principles that you will not find anywhere else. If this is a topic that interests you and you want to learn even more, then please like this video because that tells us which content we should continue to bring you and what we should talk about in even more detail. Today we're going to be talking a lot about positivity, feeling good, and the law of attraction and manifestation because usually this is taught kind of backwards and that is holding a lot of people back. And Once you truly understand how this works and how this properly functions in the law of attraction and manifestation, you can really start finally moving yourself forward. So we're going to talk about the misconceptions about this, what the truth is, and why the wrong thing is usually taught. To start off, I'd like to clear up the number one misconception about positivity and feeling good in the law of attraction and manifestation that really, really does hold a lot of people back. And that is that you always have to feel good. You always have to feel positive. The more you're feeling good and positive, the more good things you'll get in your life. And if you know you should have any doubt or negative feelings or negative emotions or negative thoughts it's going to grind the entire universe to a halt and not only will you not get your manifestation you'll probably get things you don't like into your life and this is simply not true you do not always have to feel good you do not always have to feel positive usually when people are taught that it leads to toxic positivity where people are always struggling to feel good feel positive feel happy no matter what is or isn't going on in their life and then what happens is people deny their negative emotions they suppress them they pretend they're not there they distract themselves with other shiny things that make them feel good and this builds up toxicity within your body within your system within your energy system because all that negative emotion and energy is trapped inside you and it'll eat away at you and it will eat, make you ill and it will keep you stuck in place it's not the energy itself it's the fact that you're holding it in what we're supposed to do is release it in a positive stream of creativity so we can create the changes that you want in your life now this may contradict a lot of things you've heard in the past and that's okay but if you think about it there are literally literally hundreds of thousands of people in the world right now and hundreds of thousands more throughout history that have everything that you want in your life and more and they're not always feeling good they're not always feeling positive they get mad they get angry they get frustrated they get depressed they get anxiety you can Google famous, wealthy, powerful people. Google it as soon as the video is done that have, unfortunately, anxiety, depression, are angry all the time, mad all the time. They're out there. You know them. They're famous. They're wealthy. They have everything you want and more. And they are definitely not always feeling positive. So it's okay. If you have some negative thoughts, negative emotions, it's okay. You can still change the world. Now, if you're wondering how you do this, how you can release your negative emotions in a positive stream of creation, the technique we use to do that is called the Emotional Reversal Technique, and you can learn it absolutely for free in our Facebook page. The next largest misconception about positivity and the law of attraction and manifestation is that positivity and feeling good is a cause and not an effect. The truth is, that feeling good and positivity is an effect. It's not a cause. Everything in the universe is cause and effect. Something happens that triggers something else. There is a source, there's a cause, which creates an effect. And the easiest analogy I can use to explain this is exercising. If you're exercising hard, you're going to sweat. Exercise is the cause, sweating is the effect. Now there's lots of things other than exercise that can make you sweat. You 
could just be somewhere hot. You could be nervous. There are a lot of things that can make you sweat. So although exercise causes sweat, just because you're sweating doesn't mean you've been exercising. And it's the same with the law of attraction and manifestation. We are creative beings. We love creating. We are here to create. Once we create one thing, we want to create some more things, and that's all good and natural. And creating makes us feel good. Creating makes us feel happy, makes us feel powerful, makes us feel love, makes us feel abundant, makes us feel all of those great, strong, positive, powerful emotions. Now, just like exercise makes you sweat, creating makes you feel happy. But there are many, many other things that can make you feel positive and happy and abundant other than creating. So although creating changes in your life with manifestation and the law of attraction makes you feel positive, powerful, abundant, happy, loving, all those positive things, just because you're feeling those emotions doesn't mean you are actually creating. There's lots of other things that can make you feel that way. It could just be your birthday. It could just be a great day. You could have had a good laugh. You could have just been with your loving partner. Lots of things can make you feel good and happy and powerful and abundant. But that doesn't mean you are creating because the positive emotions aren't the cause. They are the effect. They are the effect of creating and many other things. So what keeps people stuck is a lot of people are taught to just focus on the effect, just focus on the emotions, just focus on feeling good, feeling abundant, and feeling happy without focusing on the cause of all that. And you can sit there and do things and think things and be things that make you feel happy, make you feel abundant, make you feel wonderful, but that doesn't mean you're actually creating the changes in your life. It just means you're feeling happy. The positive emotions are not the cause. They are the effect. Positive emotions do not cause creation. Positive emotions don't cause the changes to happen. It's the creation and creating the changes that cause the positive emotions. So in order to not be as stuck or create larger or faster or more consistently, we can't just be focused on the effect. We can't just be focused on feeling good. We have to focus on creating the changes and what creates the changes. And if we're doing that properly, not only will we have the positive emotions from the creation process, but we'll actually create the changes we want in our lives. If we look back at our exercise analogy, unfortunately what most people to do is focus on the sweating and not on the exercise. So you can run around or sit around and be in environments or situations that make you sweat. Doesn't mean you're getting any healthier. It doesn't mean you're getting any fitter. It doesn't mean your cardio is improving because you're not actually doing the exercise. You're just focused on the sweating and the sweating is not the point. The exercise is. Just purely feeling good is a good thing. Nothing wrong with that. But if you want to focus on creating real changes in your life, then you have to focus on creating those changes, not just feeling good no matter what's happening in your life, whether it's a good situation or bad, and whether you're getting what you want or not, and whenever it's coming in. No, you have to create the changes. That will make you feel good. So if the effect is not what we want to focus on. If we want to focus on the cause, the cause that's actually going to create our changes in our life, then what do we focus on? Well, in Active Path Law of Attraction, there are five core exercises that people who practice Active Path are performing regularly, practicing regularly, getting better at, getting stronger at, getting more powerful at, getting more consistent at it. It's like any other set of techniques. You put in a little practice and you get better and better and better. And when you get better and better and better, you get better results. The five core exercises of Active Path Law of Attraction are number one, actualization. This is for when we're already feeling good, already feeling positive about our goals. We've got a lot of good positive emotional energy within us. Actualization is how we properly focus it in reality on what we want to actually create the changes 
you want in our world. You can think of it like visualization times a thousand, like visualization on steroids. Visualization, but a lot more effective and a lot more powerful. So that's technique number one, actualization. Technique number two, I've already mentioned, the emotional reversal. The emotional reversal is for when you're feeling stuck, you're feeling angry, frustrated, doubtful, anxiety, whatever it is. Those negative emotions within you, the emotional reversal will take all that energy, and it's a tremendous amount of energy, and it will release it in a positive stream of creation so you can create the changes you want in your life and move forward instead of just being stuck and, and trying to ignore your emotions and stifle them and keep them inside, which will hurt you which will keep you stuck in place. It will hurt your physical body, it will hurt your energy body. Use that energy to propel yourself forward with the emotional reversal. Technique number three is the social mirror exercise. The social mirror exercise is a very simple and easy technique you can use almost anywhere, almost any time. It leverages instincts that are hardwired within you right now that are extremely powerful and it enables you to be what you want to be in the present moment. And as we all know, that is extremely important with the law of attraction and manifestation. Technique number four, proper appreciation. Not just appreciating what you have, but up-leveling everything around you to be where you want it to be. There are two definitions of the word appreciation. One is to give thanks, and the other is to raise in value. So we don't just want to give thanks for what we have. We want to give thanks for what we have as we want it to be, because that's how you up-level your life. Technique number five, very important, is the trigger on the gun. It's what makes everything happen, and that is taking action. When it comes to taking action, you may have heard in a lot of other places that you should only do things that make you feel comfortable, only do things that make you feel good. If you're procrastinating or it makes you feel bad in any way, you shouldn't be doing it. You should just be going with the flow. Well, when you're creating large changes in your life, things are going to change. There are going to be times that it's uncomfortable. You're going to have to make yourself vulnerable, take chances, learn new things, try new things, do new things. That's what happens when change happens in your life. And so it's okay if some of these things you have to do make you feel uncomfortable, make you step outside your comfort zone, make you stretch a little bit and grow into the person you want to be, because that's the whole point. If you're feeling negative emotions about it, you use the emotional reversal to use that power and energy to move yourselves forward. I mean, we can think of a lot of examples. I'm sure there's been lots of times where you didn't want to do something, maybe you were nervous, you just didn't feel like it, you were a bit lazy that day, you didn't want to put forward the effort, just didn't want to do it. And then you made yourself do it anyway. And afterwards, you felt fantastic. It could have been a time you didn't want to go to the gym, maybe a social gathering you didn't want to go to, maybe an assignment you had been putting off, maybe speaking in front of a group of people you didn't want to do it, you were nervous, you made yourself go out there and do it, and you felt great afterwards. That's because the positive emotion is the effect it's not the cause. We come back to our core lesson here. Sometimes the things you need to do to create the changes in, you want in your life are uncomfortable, and that's okay. That's normal. Read the biographies and autobiographies of your heroes. Read anyone's story, practically anyone, who has everything you want in your life and more. There's been struggle. There's been hardship. They've been nervous. They've been doubtful. They've been depressed. They've had anxiety. They haven't just done what felt good and comfortable and wonderful all the time. They took action to create the changes that they want in their life. So those are the five core exercises of Active Path Law of Attraction. And you can learn all of them absolutely for free in our Facebook group. Come join the Facebook group. We'll teach you everything you need to know. We really want you to learn the stuff really well. We are training an army of positive change makers so we can improve our lives, improve our loved ones' lives, improve our communities, our countries, and the world. Come join the movement. Our Facebook group is Power Manifesting Inner Circle, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you there.
Here are another couple of videos I know will open up a whole new level of power for you. Please watch them right away. I'm Tom Riley. Until next time, remain at choice.